What up, YouTube? It's a Borka Test here, and today we are reacting to Skibbity Toilet episode 75. Now, it's been about a good three weeks since uh, season 20 something came out, I forgot. Last time, again, got a huge battle between G Man and the Alliance, and. But wait, we're not. That was freaking past news because now we're on to what could be like the climax of the series the astro toilets have arrived to earth and well not arrived or invading earth and they are destroying everything the skibbity toilets and the alliance tight caravan like does a huge sacrifice to make sure that every a lot like not everyone's gonna get away but most of the alliance is gonna get away and we do not know if Ty caravan is alive or he's dead i'm hoping he's dead because you know you know how to say it goes if you can't if you don't get to see the like the dead body then like how do you know they're dead you know they could always be alive and that's what boone did like he didn't actually show Ty caravan dying so let's just hope it's not like that like let's just hope that something crazy happened like g-man swooped in and saved him or something because that would be a great way to like actually like team up is to actually help them but it could be actually this is but that's gonna lead to my theory for this episode are skibbity toilets and the alliance gonna team up are we going to see them team up or are we going to get introduced to another race i don't know about that but I re it's more of a possibility that they're going to team up. Like, they have to. They can't fight each other and then get wrecked by the Astro Toilets. They're smarter than that, apparently. So, yeah, that's my theory. But, dude, I don't know. But all I can say is the Astro Toilet arc has officially begun. Officially begun. Yeah. Dude, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, sorry. But, yeah. Without no further ado, let's get straight into it. All right. Oh, yeah. And um, captions are unavailable. So hopefully no TV bed speak because that's going to be a pain. Let's start. <sighs> let's see. Raining. It's a very sad day, man. Look at that, man. It's no use. Oh, Okay, there's a lot of us left then. Okay. Dude, I gotta turn this up. Oh my god, he just deployed fight. Oh my god, these are like fighter jets. Oh my god, dude. They are getting destroyed. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh I'm sorry. They're destroying them too. Oh, see? Yep. Yep. I'm so sorry that I paused. Be oh, man. I'm so sorry because now I just freaking forget. Like, they. Okay, I remember what I was about to say. They need to get a power up or something needs to happen because they cannot do that. And I think that just signified to them and to us that they, they don't care. They don't consider skimmy toilets their allies. But okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Dude. They have no chance. They have no chance. I mean, I like seeing many toilets getting wrecked, but we're gonna die too. I thought they were working together for a second, but I saw that big guy's face and they're like, oh no. Yep, we're dead. They look kind of sick, though. Not gonna lie, they're like they look like X fighter jets. Yeah, they got destroyed. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's a mini juggernaut. What the? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! How are we gonna beat this, bro? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is like a mini juggernaut. Oh! Bro, we're getting clapped, bro. We are getting clapped, bro. Oh my gosh. This guy kind of looks sick. I like the design, bro. 
we're, we're so dead, bro. We're so dead. Oh, yes. This is it. Oh, my gosh. There we go. This is the team up right here. Finish them off. Yep. I can't believe we're getting a team up. No freaking way. Yep, there we're freaking teaming up. Uh, bro, how it? What the heck is this under his helmet? Is that an ear? What? Huh? Wow, I can't believe it, dog. They're actually teaming up. I don't know how I feel about this, bro. It's a... I don't know how I feel about this. What? I don't know how I feel about this. It's a female commando skibbity... Oh my gosh, now this is... Oh no. Yeah, we killed your baby. We got a dip, bro. We killed his baby. Dude, help me. I don't know how I feel about this. What? Oh my god, we're so... We can't get out of this, bro. Don't tell me that's it, bro. Do not tell me that's it. Bro, like... I can't believe we're seeing the team up, bro. Who is this guy? Commando cameraman? This guy smoking a cigar. Bro. We finally get... I don't... Well, no, no, no. This is not in general. But... Is this the team up? Is, is this is this the team up? I don't know, but there I think this is just a like I don't know it under the radar faction or something like skimmy toilets and cameramen are team. It's not official yet because I just realized that you don't see any speaker man. You don't. It's not in general that they're teaming up. These guys are like they're all in commando too. I'm like what? There's a female, there's a hot female skip. Okay, but dude, like we might potentially be seeing a team up, dude. And we killed our, I think this is the first Asho toilet we've killed. Am I wrong? I, I, I Correct me if I'm wrong. And this is not the first skimmy toilet we killed. I don't know. Maybe this is, but yeah, y'all, we're going to go over to the breakdown, even though, like, I may have missed some stuff, but you never know. But, yeah, let's go to the breakdown now. All right, so we're over to the breakdown now, and Elite Caribbean is going to give us, like, anything that we missed and deeper detail. Hello, everyone. Elite Cameraman here. Episode 75 of Skibidi Toilet dropped like a nuke. And it's once again one of the most important episodes ever. Yeah, I feel like this was an important episode. It might not seem that way, but the second you start thinking about what happened and what we witnessed in this yep. episode, everything starts making more sense, and the direction the story is going towards is nuts. Dude, but that's I... not all, because I don't think everyone in the Alliance is all free-minded people who are willing to accept these changes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The inside the Alliance might get heated as the story goes on. But because they're teaming up later in the video because I was alongside of what we got in the latest secret scenes and what happened today might give us a clue on what will be happening in the next arc. We might not have seen what happened to Titan cameraman and the other two Titans. I want to but know what happened but... in today's episode clearly foreshadows what will happen to Titan cameraman in the later episodes when really? it's finally revealed time. So in today's video, I'll go over everything that I don't know with the Astros and the possible team up of the toilets alongside what the juggernaut Astro said because blood looked really angry. Oh, yeah, he was talking, but I don't know what he said agent. because there's no you captions. You might not have seen him, but he did show up just slightly for a couple seconds. Wait, whoa, 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 so whoa, 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 wait, what, what did homeboy say? Not Astro said because blood looked really angry and also the alliance to even the sighting of the secret agent. 
You might not have seen him, but oh, the agent. Slightly for a couple seconds. I forgot so about sure the like agent. I even got to lie. haven't seen him in today's episode. And for those who found I did him it. before watching my analysis, you still should like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on anything in the future. Anyways, I could like if I rewatched it, I probably would have found him. POV cameraman looking up in the sky, and we can instantly see that after around ten episodes, we are finally out of the Skibidi bunker area for the first time and back in the city, and there is a heavy storm happening. But that's not all, because a few seconds after the POV starts, we hear a huge laser sound going off, and once the POV bro, these cameraman astro toilets turns to are his right, crazy, we bro. can see that it's an astro toilet lasering and destroying the city. This is actually the same toilet we saw in the leaks a couple days ago. But there is a slight change. When Boom posted this leak, he actually removed the helmet for some reason. I think I he seen probably that. probably wanted to mislead us into thinking it wasn't an Astro. But even though I didn't notice it at the time, people have figured out that in episode 74, we can see the same circle design behind the head of the toilet in some of the Astro toilets. Yeah. But alongside the Astro toilet, did you notice something else? If you look really but really carefully, you can actually see the secret agent on the roof. It's not entirely noticeable. What? If we zoom in enough, it's clear that there <laughs> what? is a human form watching what's happening. Oh, and even though oh, there is no green oh, glow or oh, anything. Oh, I'm... oh, oh. I thought you met on the astral toilet. I'm like, how did bro get up there? I don't think there is anyone that can just stand there without even caring. Yeah, that might be him. Other than the secret agent. <laughs> But yeah, if there is he someone teleport. else, we really need to be afraid of whoever it might be. It also might look like something that's coming out of the building, but in the later seconds, we can see that the silhouette vanishes and is not there anymore, which means whoever it was teleported. <laughs> oh my God. There is also another scene which people think we can see Secret Agent again, but that's closer to the end of the episode, so make sure to watch until the end if you don't want to miss that. As soon he as the Astro Toilet two times in an episode? The, city, the reinforcement camera copters come in and starts attacking it. But it looks like the Astro Toilet has a mini version of Astro Juggernaut. They can't do anything, bro. And as always, the camera copters can't do anything. We're like, and we're like bugs, bro. Also about the shield, I always thought the normal toilet stole the shield designs from the Titans. But it is possible. But the toilets came up with the shields thanks to G-Man Toilets advice. And maybe the Alliance stole some of the designs before we even saw the toilets use it in action. Because even though the shields designs are clearly different... They are still both plasma shields, and knowing G-Man used to be an astro toilet. We also see a bunch of carrier camera helicopters trying to leave the area right at this moment, probably saving some of the Alliance members they can save. Right after this, we see the astro toilet's shield coming down and some compartment starts opening up, and if I remember correctly, Boom did say that these astros were called astro carriers, but at the time it didn't make sense why he called them carriers while they were demolishing everything on their own, and we couldn't even see if there was a face on top of it in episode 74. But we finally learn why, because as if it wasn't enough, four X-Wing Astros come out from the Astro Carriers inside, and they blow up the camera attack helicopters instantly without even trying. Dude. They don't stop there, and they also kill the camera helicopters that are trying to escape, and everything happens so fast. Like This leads to the POV cameraman <laughs> leaning back and start hiding, and what we see in this frame is wild. First of all, if you look on top of the roof on the left, we actually can't see what? the human silhouette that was there before, which clearly means that he teleported away, and it most likely was the secret agent. Oh. This time, I think he was watching to see if the toilets and the Alliance would finally team up, because why would he otherwise be here while Titan Cameraman is on the brink of dead some... Dude, true. Why would he otherwise be here while Titan Cameraman is on the brink of dead somewhere else? But that's not the crazy thing. If you have watched my leaks video, you'd know that Mr. Boom dropped one of the craziest leaks, the chair leak. No. People went crazy over this chair leak, and there were so many theories, and here it is, the infamous chair itself on the left side. Also, thanks to Peanut Butter XD, what because the? he did send me where the that secret is weird. agent and the chair was literary five minutes after the episode dropped. Bro is better than the detective cameraman. This chair doesn't do much, but how did it get there? Maybe just maybe the secret agent actually put the chair there to attract some toilets there so that the team up actually happened. I know it sounds crazy, what? but it really is possible. The fact that we still have no idea what the secret agent is planning at all is insane. Dude, maybe. Alongside this, right at this scene, we can actually see three other leaks that we saw, 
which means boom. I don't I don't see the leaks leaks from the same frame with different Dude, this angles. is why I'm here. First one is the cameraman being sad with the large cameraman that lost his arms. It looks like this cameraman got sad either because his friends died or the fact that he might die in a couple minutes because the situation is really bad. The next one is the commander cameraman smoking that skibidi pack while standing on a toilet. Blood is still chilling in a situation like this. I Boom do. actually colored this scene with an orange looking color on the leak, probably to mislead us into thinking there are multiple POVs this episode, but it looks like it was from the same place. The next one is actually from the POV itself. I called this cameraman the IKEA cameraman because bro is wearing something oh, yeah, that the makes yellow. Him look like a Roblox <laughs> IKEA employee. After Bro. this, the POV <laughs> cameraman looks down for a second, probably thinking about his regrets, but suddenly they start hearing Skibidi toilets and something is weird. The chair is gone, bruh. Where is the chair? This makes the chair even I more I mean, mysterious. it was slowly... Did it fall down? Going. Did it slide down even more that we can't see it anymore, or did it simply vanish? Yeah, Ooh, I think it was keep if sliding. If you are watching this, we need to know. Is what I would normally say, but we actually get to see the chair <laughs> once more. But no, it wasn't at the same place as its first appearance, which makes it even more sus. I'll talk about it more when it that shows up sus. again in the episode. But it's it sure freaking is random crazy. chair, and it really might have something to do with the secret agent. So it might be sure reaching, like but we don't, I don't subscribe know. if you want to know more about the chair. But what's more important is what we see next. I mean, we I really like this scene, but toilets came from or why they came here. But the mutant toilets here run hella goofy with two guns on their hands. Also, I just it's saw nice that. <laughs> to see a ding dong strider toilet appear again. It really has been a while, but their fate is not that nice because two of the X Wing Astros instantly return back when they hear the toilets, and these bloods are literally looking for blood. They turn to each other right before smiling like two psychopaths, while we see the, the toilet squad shocked and scared, literally begging for mercy yeah. right before they get obliterated. I mean, I, I don't feel bad for him. literally puts his hands up, and for some reason, he looks <laughs> to his right. But it's not possible to see if there is something there. Either way, they die I a gruesome even, death. Yeah, they and get the POV destroyed. The cameraman zooms in even more after the death of the toilet squad because he sees even more toilets being killed. But this time, it's another Astro killing the toilets. It's the mini juggernaut. We'll talk about this yeah. later in the video. But it's finally confirmed that the juggernauts are not humans, but something else. And the fact that yeah, the POV dude, cameraman locks onto I the saw mini that. juggernaut actually bites them in the ass because blood notices them instantly. And it's actually yeah. revealed how later in the video, because the actual Astro Juggernaut speaks and reveals more of his abilities. The cameraman squad I, yeah, I need to hear what he preparing said. to attack at the front door for when the mini juggernaut comes in because they did see him coming towards their way, but it doesn't go as planned because, as you guys know, the astro toilets can literally yeah. go up to light speed, and the mini juggernaut appears from the back by demolishing it's the so wall OP, dude. with his clown-like paws. Yes, you did hear me right. Paws, not hands, because blood is actually a dog. It's not entirely understandable, but he kills what, a cameraman instantly dude? right as he rushes inside, and the POV cameraman. Yeah, look, he does it. have claws. It looks like the mini juggernaut also has two blades on his arm alongside a plasma shield on his left arm, just like the real. Bro is Astro OP, juggernaut. dude. And while he is blocking the laser attacks, we can actually see this cute puppy's tail on his back. What the? It heck? seems like even his tail what? is armored so that it doesn't get damaged. Later what? in the video, we also get to learn what his relationship with the actual Astro Juggernaut is. We don't know yet, but I don't know. Might actually bite the Alliance in the ass quite hard. After blocking the lasers, the mini Juggernaut literally dashes in lightning speed into the containers to kill off the cameramans instantly. And I really don't think anyone around that place survived because Bro was merciless. It kills one more cameraman with its shoulder lasers while coming back and opens his shield one more to squash Dude. the large cameraman next to the POV cameraman. And as if that wasn't enough, he also snaps his head off. But even though he seems like he is not taking any damage, if you look carefully when he closes his shield down, yeah, his we can actually thing. see that one of his eyepieces seem kind of broken. I think this is a result of it being a child and not an adult yet. And as you guys know, puppies are usually really playful. And Bro, this mini astro literally cannot stop for a second, which makes me think that it doesn't really think, and it just does whatever he wants at the moment. If that's Even true, that's... overall, it works oh, out for what? him, especially until he shoots the POV cameraman with his lasers. After this point, things start turning upside down for the mini juggernaut. Right when he is yep. charging up his lasers to kill the POV cameraman, we turn to our right to see an incredible scene. For the first time ever in the series, 
the toilet yeah. and Alliance team up. We can clearly see the commander cameraman on top of an advanced Skibidi toilet shooting his laser gun at the mini juggernaut, and since he wasn't ready for it, the laser does quite a bit of damage before he can open up his plasma shield, and as if that wasn't enough, an What, man? That's like another team up, dude. To, since he wasn't ready for it, the laser does quite a bit of damage before he can open up his plasma shield, and as if that wasn't enough, another toilet starts shooting his lasers at him from the other side. And if you look carefully at the left side on this scene, we can actually what? see the bomber toilet hiding behind the container before he jumps onto the mini juggernaut. The laser oh, toilet yeah, does get it. killed by the mini juggernaut. And blood makes the goofiest scream sound, but this doesn't change the outcome because the bomber toilet. Does I forgot the what that scream is. I don't know what that scream is. Juggernaut's bro. flying capabilities, which the mini juggernaut wasn't expecting at all, because bro was super shocked right before the bomber toilet arrived. This makes the mini juggernaut act even less carefully, and he just starts spamming his lasers around the place while the POV cameraman throws yep. in a toilet paper nade that destroys the last laser gun he has. Like now this fight what, clearly what, now what shows how do? unprepared this puppy was for a fight, but it doesn't stop here because he gets really mad and starts focusing on the POV cameraman by attacking him with his claws right before the POV cameraman savior, the crazy hot mutant mommy toilet comes in. I she stabs the mini juggernaut from the back of his I'm head. I'm like, dude, I don't know how to feel about that. And leads him to throw the mutant female to the ground while both the POV cameraman the mommy mutant and the commander cameraman <laughs> is attacking the mini juggernaut with lasers, <laughs> which leads to his mutant, helmet dude. actually being broken and one of the saddest scenes in the entire series. But I think after his helmet was broken, the vibes kind of changed because it was revealed yeah. that the mini juggernaut was a puppy astro toilet all along. And the way bro looked sad broke my heart. His left ear was cut off and he looked really sad with those eyes. Even with everything he did to the Alliance, it really was sad seeing the mommy mutant kill off the puppy Astro while he was struggling. And the Dude. way bro died, Jesus bro. Boom really wanted us to cry while watching this scene. This also what begs is that? the question what? Of, is the Astro Juggernaut also a dog? Because people were making theories about him being a cat already, and it might actually be kind of true. It's unknown if he is a cat or a dog officially, but what, what he says later Dude. in the video might indicate that he is actually a dog. And he actually might become the John Wick of the series after what happened. Bro really might go on a generational murder run after what he will witness. <laughs> generational we talk murder about that, run. We need to talk about what we see next. We see the upgraded soldier toilet next to the commander cameraman and the way the POV cameraman looks at them and the commander cameraman reacts kind of shows that commander cameraman didn't really plan this out, but just went with their only option, which was to team up. And it's possible oh. that this team up only happened because the toilets there were soldiers as well, and they were ready to listen to commands from Commander Toilet to survive. And bro Maybe. is still smoking that Skibidi pack. <laughs> I won't be surprised he if he put dies that down. from smoking one day and not because of toilets. <laughs> I feel like this team up will definitely split the alliance into two. Those yeah. who want to team up and those who do not. The TV oh, yeah. race definitely won't want to. They are already oh, yeah. trying to hide stuff from the rest of the alliance. There is no way they are accepting this team up easily. We also have the lucky cameraman situation that we saw in the secret scenes of the full season. We saw him get arrested for treason and many other cameraman saw it, which probably spread hella fast. I yep. think with all these combined, friction inside the Alliance is unavoidable. I don't know if this will lead to some type of civil war inside the Alliance where we see something like Captain bro. America versus Iron Man like, type episode. Bro, but it no, definitely will man. be a big roadblock until everyone is on the same page. And I think the moment when everyone is on the same page and they actually team up will be a little too late and they'll be trying to fix stuff that they messed up. This also kind of foreshadows what's going to happen to Titan Cameraman, if you ask me. I, I mentioned in my last three videos yeah, that I, I think Titan Cameraman is going to be saved by G-Man Toilet. And I do oh think like yeah, I, I did say that too. Seeing this, I don't know if it'll be G-Man Toilet, but there is no way the Alliance is saving Titan Cameraman, and it'll probably be Titan Cameraman teaming up with Toilets to defend himself, which will lead to more people trusting. Norman yeah, toilets. like the cameraman are really teaming up with the Skibbity Toilets. I do want to know what the secret agent is thinking because there is a chance that he wanted this, and there is also a chance that he wanted Lucky Cameraman to get arrested as well. All these yeah. things happening at the same time is a crazy coincidence. What happens right after this is even more sad compared to the puppy Astro dying because we witness a grown-ass man's sad side. 
The squad hears some astro sounds going around outside the bunker, and right when the POV cameraman looks at the mommy mutant, she makes the shush face, and oh god, she looks beautiful while doing it. But anyways, bro is down bad, bro. No, I don't know how I feel about that. And chilling on top of the solid or toilet. Bro, put but down the, get a little the too weed, quiet, dude. And it doesn't last long because <laughs> suddenly the camera starts glitching as the Astro Juggernaut literally shouts at them right before destroying the whole roof. But what does he say? But before he can attack, he sees his little puppy toilet, and we can literally see his face getting sad. And bro looks like he is about to cry. Bro's gonna make us cry as well, bruh. He really about to go on a John Wick arc. Instead of attacking, he grabs the puppy Astro and holds it in sad. Wait, I just realized that's not the same Juggernaut as the as the one that saved G-Man. I mean, the the one that saved the other Astro Toilet that was fighting G-Man. That's not the same one. I just realized that. What the? And we actually can hear him talk all this time. Yeah. Before what does he, he say? Destroys the roof. He says, "I can see you through the walls." and continues with oh. what my baby you will pay right after he holds the puppy astro here you go listen what? to it oh dang it's really loud that the puppy Astro was the juggernaut Astro's child or his own dog because I don't know why he would call him my yeah. baby otherwise we don't know if Astro juggernaut is also a dog but he is either it a has dog to be or he is a human that had the puppy Astro as a pet I guess we'll know the truth maybe. when we see the back of Astro juggernaut actually maybe because if he does have a tail it'd mean that he is also a dog just like wait the puppy maybe Astro. he's not maybe and after this he definitely is Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just like he said, my baby, like um, a person would say to a to like a puppy. He is also a dog, just like the puppy Astro. And after this, he definitely is killing at least thousands of Alliance members. Bro will be taking his revenge by killing anyone he sees. We also get to learn that the Juggernauts can use X-ray vision or heat sensors with their special lenses on the masks. Yeah, that gives away which that. Which will make it a lot harder for the Alliance to hide against them. After this. We see the squad going out a crack on the back, which was probably opened by the toilets that helped the cameraman squad. And right before the mommy mutant grabs the POV cameraman, we see something crazy. It's just here for five frames or so. Wait, hold but on. if you pause at the right second, you the can chair? actually see the chair once again <laughs> while the POV cameraman is turning behind. This is crazy because how did it get here? What made it teleport yeah. <laughs> here? I 100% believe that it's the same chair and it teleported here. Why are we like getting so hyped up over a chair? The agent or someone is literally <laughs> sitting on it while being invisible. Or maybe Imagine, just maybe there dude. is a new race or someone that can shapeshift. If you didn't know, we did see a mysterious character in episode 74, which people think that it was the first sighting of a computer man. And yeah, he indeed it was, was down visible there. only when the TV daddy was phasing, which makes him invisible Y'all, Y'all think eye. it might be far-fetched, but I think it might happen. Watching what's going on I know a lot of people don't want it to happen because, like, the chair. The chair lore like everything that the Alliance has done will be for nothing. Like, nonsense. After this, Maybe. we see the mutant mommy hold the POV cameraman and take off to escape the area. But bro, this POV cameraman is definitely simping. Oh bro didn't even look around and locked onto her beautiful face. I wasn't going to say anything about what he did before, but if we roll back to when they were about to leave the warehouse... <laughs> no, I was going to skip over that. Come on, Ali Caravan. Why you got to point everything out? I wasn't even going to say it. I, I was thinking, I was like, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I know what he's going to say. Bro was locking on to her freaking buttocks. So <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah, he's going to break that up now. Bro literally zoomed into mutant mommy's giant. And bro definitely fantasized about yeah, something which I can't He called say. it a giant. I think he yeah. had a crush on her and he joined the simp squad. We might have just witnessed the birth of a love between cameraman and toilets for the first time ever. But no! Bro's happiness doesn't no. last long because they get attacked no, by do not that say that. You know what the freaking... Face. And they crash no. down. 
right before he is bed by the commander camera. I do not want to see the fan like art the at all. Likes the if y'all know what I mean. Now, thanks to commander cameraman giving him a cigar as well. Bro's <laughs> whole expression changed. They all look at mutant Momi and oh boy, does she look badass. And before the cameraman gives a thumbs up to her and the episode ends, we actually see something behind them. If you look carefully in the car, there is what? a black part that looks like a silhouette, and many people thought it was the secret agent. Where? But when you look at it with higher resolution, oh. it's clear that it is not a human, but something else because there is no head or anything. It's just straight. With that, this episode ended. It truly was crazy and did kind of have a nostalgic feeling with how the episode progressed after everything that happened in the bunker raid. If you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Wow, bro. Y'all, this episode, I had a huge feeling that there would be a team up and there is, but it's not a general team up. It's kind of like an under the radar team up and he pointed out maybe like the commando like um guy like met some of the commando skimity toilets and they had no choice but to team up or I, something else might have happened but dude this this indeed changes like the description of um, the video says new enemies new friends oh my gosh i cannot wait to see more team up with them but again we do not know yet this is just the beginning of something and some crazy stuff with the astro toilets about them being dog i i saw the ear i was like what are they dogs like i mean hey who's to say like they did they didn't make any skimmy toilets out of freaking cats or animals in general that's like that's actually good what did y'all think of this episode bro like y'all y'all sipping for the <laughs> mommy mutant i didn't want to i don't want to sound that bad or anything i don't know how to feel about this i know but y'all uh, this this was a great episode like even though it wasn't that long of an episode i thought it was six minutes but it was three minutes even though it wasn't that long of an episode it revealed a whole bunch of stuff and it might change the future and i like watching elite caravan because he brings up leaks i don't I only watch the episodes. I don't watch. I don't see the leaks, but he brings in a whole bunch of information, and I really like that. You like that about every like freaking breakdown type channels. But yeah, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have a blessed day today, and I'll see y'all in the next one.